Do you know the advice for your dreams, for your passion, right? Well, a couple of months ago, I decided to follow it, but it didn't work very well for me. Every person struggles with finding his purpose. Like, there are so many things you can do. And of course, it happened to me too. Every time I found a new type of business, quickly I was finding out that I didn't have something that was required. For example, dropshipping. I didn't even understand how it is actually work. Without speaking of the fact that I can't even have a bank account. And I don't know why, but I was refusing to accept that idea. But then I decided to try starting with something I know a lot and like, and that was fitness. I go to the gym, I read about nutrition, about body science and fitness every day. I talked, it is my passion, right? It will work and I can help people as a personal trainer, but I was wrong. But don't get me wrong, it just didn't work for me because it just wasn't my real passion. I truly believe you should follow your passion because why would you want to live a life if you don't do what you like? But be careful because it has to be really your passion. Sometimes you think you are passionate about something, but sometime later you are just fed up with it. Quickly, I did a plan to be a personal trainer. I would start giving content to people, which made me create this YouTube channel. This way, some people would be interested in training with me. I would start coaching my family members and their friends. Actually, it's funny to think that I finally started a channel and in some months, I completely changed its purpose from giving fitness content to show my life and journey to inspire and help other people. At the beginning, everything was going great for me. I was gaining new clients every week I started my YouTube channel and I got really happy with the amount of people who were enjoying my content. I was really focused on improving. I even call it a business. I started to learn how to sell, how to create training packages, and I started to learn more complicated subjects, which made me be a master in my science classes. My specialty was the reproductive system. Not because of that, because of the testosterone. Yes, testosterone. Just because of that. Second day filming this video. Where was I? Oh, and I was making good money with this. One or sometimes even 200 euros per month. I talked I was already a high successful businessman. But then sometime later gaining new clients was being more and more hard until I stopped gaining any clients. At that time, I was trying to coach my parents, co-workers. I was trying, but I wasn't helping anyone new. So I got fed up and I decided to focus on the training of my actual client. But the thing with being a personal trainer is that you spend the majority of your time like this. Good job, but now try to not move your elbow. Nice. So one, two, three. Great. I loved being a personal trainer, but I was getting tired of doing always the same things. So I gave up. And at that moment, I felt like I stayed in the same place for months. And I was angry because I didn't know what to do like before. But this time I refused in believing that I had spent months for nothing. And I decided to focus on something I had started making videos for you too. And with this I learned a very important thing. To find your purpose, you will have to pass through a lot of different things. 
and maybe each time you will think that you have found your purpose but maybe sometime later you will discover that it isn't really your passion but it's okay because each time you will be closer to your purpose your life is like an onion mm -hmm. yeah i'm great with analogies each thing you talk was your passion is the skin and you have to take out the skins to eat the onion well in this case to find your purpose I hope you don't eat onions because it sounds quite weird. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to release the onion inside of you.